The skyline of St. Petersburg's historic center is dominated not only by graceful golden spire of St. Peter's and Paul's Cathedral. A glittering slender Admiralty needle has become the symbolic architectural feature of the city. St. Petersburg was planned as the main center of shipbuilding and navigation of Russia. The word Admiralty meant a place for building the military ships. Peter the Great personally constructed the plan for a big Admiralty shipyard, which was needed for the powerful Russian Navy. The foundation was laid on the Admiralty Island between the Neva and the Moika. There was a fortress wall built around the Admiralty to protect the city from the threat of Swedish attack during the Northern War. More than 200 military ships were sailed from the Admiralty during Peter's reign. In 1706, the first ship sailed from here. Every launch of a new ship was a truly festive occasion. The complex of Admiralty Shipyard was rebuilt several times, and the stone image that we admire today was designed by the Russian architect Ivan Korobov, who masterminded the tower with a gilded spire topped with a beautiful, charming three-sailed frigate that replicated the first Russian warship. The exquisite harmony of the building speaks for itself. At the beginning of the 19th century, the great Russian architect Andrian Zakharov enhanced the appearance of the building with a gorgeous sculptural design united by one topic of the glorious Russian Navy. It was a fundamental reconstruction, but he preserved the original concept. The graceful tower is surrounded by the colonnade adorned with 28 statues which personify four seasons – winter, spring, summer and autumn – four elements – water, air, fire and earth – and four winds directions. Two goddesses of shipbuilding and astronomy and more than 300 molded ornaments add its special splendor and celebrate the power of the Russian fleet. The central tower, with a gold-plated ship, is visible for miles around the city. It is said that the ship was covered with two kilos of pure gold and contained Peter's personal compass. It is a perfect example of classicist Russian architecture that glorified the history of the Russian Navy with the imperial-style arch and two massive wings embracing the city within 400 meters on the banks of the Neva River. You can marvel at two flying glories with the flag above the arch. The lower level is decorated with the statues of the ancient heroes of the Trojan War and the military leaders Alexander Macedonian the Great and Pyrrhus. On the sides of the arch, the nymphs holding the globe add a grand and festive look to the building. The main visual and symbolic message is revealed by the depiction of the scene, which is called the establishment of the Russian fleet, where the god Neptune is handing his trident to Peter the Great as the symbol of his power over the seas. The whole history of the shipyard was connected with the navy. The buildings of the naval ministry, the central naval headquarters, the naval museum and the higher naval college were housed here. In the 19th century, the Admiralty was called a Pole Star or a Nevsky Trident because three main streets split off from here as three rays. Also, the Admiralty shipyard was flanked by two main squares of the city, the Palace Square and the Senate Square. The Senate Square faces two massive buildings linked by a magnificent triumphal arch, which is richly decorated with the numerous sculptures, including the sculptural composition, the justice and the godliness. The Italian architect Carl Rossi not just reconstructed the old building, but created the Grandions Ensemble by spanning Galerina Street with an elegant arch. The ruling Senate and the Holy Synod the governing body of the Russian Orthodox Church, were united as the one imposing architectural landmark symbolizing the civil and religious powers and the unity of the Church and the State. The Constitutional Court and the Presidential Library are housed here. In the Soviet time, the Senate Square was renamed into December Square into commemoration of the tragic event of Russian history, the Decembrist Revolt. In 1825, on the 14th of December, the Russian noblemen gathered here to protest against the monarchy and the severe serfdom. But the revolt was suppressed. 
and thousands of people were killed here. The Senate Square still remembers the tragic day in the history. The major compositional highlight of the square is definitely the legendary Bronze Horseman, an expressive equestrian memorial to the most prominent emperor, creator and reformer, Peter the Great. When you are standing next to this monument, you feel its power and might. Just have a look. The ruler is rearing up the steep cliff and he's guiding Russia forward with his gesture. He is depicted with a laurel wreath on his head as the Roman hero. The horse's hooves are trampling the snake, which is the symbol of evil and all the animus of Peter's reforms. It took 12 years to complete such a masterpiece. The monument was built by the order of Catherine the Great, who worshipped and admired Peter's deeds. The statue stands on the giant single piece of granite monolith stone, which is more than 1,000 tons of weight, and was called the Thunderstone. According to the legend, such a shape was formed by the lightning stroke. It is also believed that it was that very rock where Peter the Great climbed up to observe the army in the war. It was found on the shore of the Gulf of Finland and was transported only with the help of the human force during nine months. The inscription on the monument reads in Latin and Russian, to Peter I from Catherine II, akin to daring. This world-famous masterpiece is the best work of the French architect Etienne Falconet, built by the order of Catherine, which became the source of inspiration for the immortal Pushkin's poem, The Bronze Horseman. It is believed that St. Petersburg will never surrender to any enemy force as long as the horseman guards the city. It can be called the greatest achievement of sculptural architecture that emphasized the growing might of the Russian Empire. The strikingly dynamic outline of the bronze horsemen emphasizes the boundless energy and iron will of the first emperor of Russia.